right guys we're headed into my kitchen I have a little cabinet that I keep all my baking goods in and if you've seen any of my past videos where I've organized my kitchen you will have seen how I organized my baking goods now it worked for me because I don't bake that often but I decided it needed to be a little more efficient so I have I purchased some containers on Amazon now um, you know the containers that you buy are going to depend on your space and how you want to organize your space so I'll just show you how I've done mine and um, and hopefully you get some ideas now I wanted rectangular containers so that, that they take up my cabinet space and I can take the lids off and just scoop my measuring cups into the container. Now you're going to want to organize in a way that works for you, your space, your cabinet, and the way you like to bake. Because you want to make it easy. Easy for you to bake, easy for you to clean up, and easy to keep organized. So let's go to the kitchen and let's see what I did this is the baking area in my kitchen and it works because I don't bake that often so what I usually do is just pull out this basket when I need to cook a uh, bake and then uh, go from there but I have decided to try a different organizing uh, option this year and see if that works even better for me. Uh, I already ordered the containers and I have them in. Um, they do look a little smaller than I expected so we're gonna try it out and see how it goes. All right, these are the containers, and they are the size that I thought they were, and I think they're going to fit absolutely perfectly. They came with chalkboard uh, labels and a chalk marker, and they came with these scoops, which I believe are also measuring cups. So it's going to be perfect because I want to put flour and sugar in the bottom, um, baking uh, brown sugar, uh, cornstarch, um, some of my other baking items in here, and they fit exactly where that basket is. And then when I open up the containers, I can just scoop what I need. I like that they are long and rectangular so that they fit the cabinet perfectly. So once I get this organized, I'll show you how it went. All right, these are some of the items that I need to organize and find a place for. We've got white all-purpose flour, regular sugar. Now I've got some whole wheat. I don't know, that may go thrown out, I'm not sure. Now obviously, because my husband is diabetic, I have two things of almond flour I have never used. Hmm, interesting. Um, and brown sugar and powdered sugar. All right, let me see what fits in which container and I'll show you what it looks like. Sorry, my kitchen is very tiny, so I can't back up and show you more. Everything's very close up. All right, let me get to work. All right, guys, this is how my baking station is organized. Here I have cinnamon. In the very back, behind the cinnamon is molasses. The cinnamon and my vanilla. Here I have my little shakers. One is cinnamon and sugar for sprinkling. Uh, this one, if I put flour in it, it's to sprinkle flour. Right now it's empty because I don't want to keep 
and then this one would be powdered sugar for baked goods but they're empty right now because I only fill them up if you use them and then as you can see there's the baking cocoa in the back there and then this container has the chalk marker some baking cups um, more vanilla which I guess I don't need cardamom which I'm not sure I used but it's there baking powder and this is what I put in my cinnamon rolls vanilla pudding so that's what I have there I guess I can throw the cardamom away I don't use it and my Splenda cornstarch, extra brown sugar, whole wheat flour, powdered sugar, brown sugar, all-purpose flour, almond flour, and regular sugar. Now, of course, when we bake for ourselves, we use the Splenda and almond flour, but when I bake and other people are eating, then I use the regular stuff. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this organizing uh, video. And I will see you on the next video.